five time okay uh, uh, we never imagined in our life that you know this kind of situation could come because uh, i uh, when i interacted this kind of situation with my father they have seen the worst of the famines riots everything because they hail from the east pakistan region mm-hmm. bangladesh now mm-hmm. so uh, and with whomsoever i have been you know, interacted with everyone is saying that this is the first of its kind right uh, yeah. but you know uh, to some extent we need to take it in a positive way because we mm-hmm. all know that we are under a uh, severe stress and you know a lot of unemployment lot mm-hmm. of you know uh, you know ups and downs which are happening which nobody could you know like imagine in their wildest of dreams mm-hmm. so uh, i think somewhere in a professionally uh, uh, if you ask my case you know like uh, i started becoming a bit restless after you know like 15 20 days because being in sales i was more i mean uh, more of you know out of home because that's my category uh, so if i am locked inside home so i feel little bit restless mm-hmm. so uh, uh, but you know like then you know like gradually when i started interacted with uh, my daughter my, my wife we we came out that you know like and also uh, the maids were not allowed as you know mm-hmm. because of this lockdown so mm-hmm. everything was sort of you know like you need to manage your own yeah so there are a lot of uh, you know skills which we had to uh, you know pick up <laughs> voluntarily <laughs> by force you can say but you know uh, 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 at the at the end you start enjoying in them mm-hmm. it all depends you know because you know uh, i have been doing uh, in between because uh, you know whenever i was at home i have been doing some you know like home related uh, stuff and all but uh, now you know you have forced actually because you know like Uh, you have no other options so uh, you know like sesha will talk about herself uh, i'm talking about my mind so uh, uh, i utilize this more of uh, gaining language i uh, mean we're gaining a lot of knowledge right. uh, like uh, industry related a mm-hmm. uh, lot of you know uh, webinars because as you mm-hmm. know now there's a new term mm-hmm. which is called web related seminar so you know <laughs> commonly it is called webinar now so it's a new term again so uh, you know um, i Uh, i have attended quite a lot of webinars which is more outdoor advertising related uh, learned a lot of uh, stuff new new jargons and um, i kept on interacting with the industry guys yes. industry people ha ah. yeah please continue sorry i have phone issue again ah no so uh, this is what i'm saying so i mean apart from a uh, little bit of uh, household work cooking uh, you know uh, thanks to kosturi she guided me a lot of stuff you know mainly you know she was more of training side i was uh, implementing the uh, stuff uh, uh, singing you know like uh, you know oh, yes. i am a basic Love, music lover i i must admit that so, i'm a big i'm a big fan i'm a big fan of you and posturi the singing <laughs> i mean uh, i mean no, it's I more of no no it's, it's it's more of spirit see it's yes, not yes. that you know as you know the, uh, i mean i was in touch with you i mean uh, with everyone on facebook yeah. i you know made this comment quite a few times that uh, never judge me you know or mm. my uh, my friends Mm. on that professional point of view that we are we are no professional we are we are already you know engaged with our uh, respective you know like um, uh, uh, respective profession mm. but you know like you need to you know uh, i mean see see the spirit energy course, uh, mindset course. see everyone is stressed so Dada, i i i have always I'm, found uh, music to be a stress buster i i would like to uh, just say i mean i i i think discussed with a couple of friends uh, initially uh, with i mean that's i mean that's how i saw it or like how i feel it this way like see there are there is always going to be problems in life this problem that problem thousands of problems will be there so how how long can you put your own uh, happiness on hold you mm-hmm. know like yeah i mean it, it, it's a different kind of psychology where like you cannot put your happiness i mean it's not like if you see like death and destruction is happening even outside Hello. so uh, sometimes globally uh, globally globally it's happening so sometimes it feels like oh i mean uh, i mean you know like it can sound uh, feel uh, initially even i had the feeling like okay are I, i mean should i sing or should i not sing like i mean it's not fair it's not being fair where i mean but then i realized that we are doing our part to the society it's not that we are not doing our part to the society 
we are doing whatever i can to help the i mean the next day the next door person or the next door like whoever i can help after that what we can do there is there is nothing i mean the situation has led us to a point of standstill where even if you want to go and help you know like there is nothing you can you do can't, here can't. you can't so i mean and and to give you give you a kind of a historical perspectives like uh, i was reading a couple of document or seeing some of documentaries on where way back in world war 2 or something if when the russians were attacked like when stalingrad was happening or like say all the battle sieges were happening the soldiers there they still found time or like they had the spirit to play the mouth organ or to play the chess or to sing songs because for for everybody even then it was very uncertain future they did not they knew very for for certain that when i'm marching into this battle i'm not going to live more than maybe two or three days but should i put my happiness on hold because of this so whatever time it is so that it, it is a great catharsis as you said like you know like the music is a huge outlet i mean something you you might have done in uh, might, might have thought or might have heard or like it has been happening you uh, i mean it, the process has been happening it was in you but you for some reason for professional reasons you did not find the band time or bandwidth to you know oh, like, oh, so this is uh, this was an opportunity where i i i had some time so you know uh, i mean it all started by singing at you know social gatherings just very <laughs> informal you know like but then you know like started you know one uh, one song i shared one day then uh, i i was quite encouraged by you know my friends <laughs> then i uh, thought of you know like sharing it with a certain frequency so that that's how so otherwise it's all uh, you know like um, uh, you know after a certain point of time you start waiting that when mm. we are going to come out of this mm. so mm. because you know like uh, we are all you know uh, you know am immune in a certain lifestyle you know and especially in working people like mm. you and me we are more kind of uh, in sales especially and yeah. in advertising sales we uh, we we have this you know physical interaction with clients mm. ad agencies and all because mm. i always feel that you know sales a sales job is more of physical interacting rather than telecon Absolutely. okay so unless and until you can sell the concept or sell the product across the table you can't do it on phone or through video conferencing so that's my my ideology so uh, now in fact uh, we are all trying to you know like we we are just waiting for our media the entire system to restart now mm -hmm. as you can see on on the roads itself you know people mm -hmm. are you know tirelessly they are out on the roads you know like i i went to andheri i found a huge traffic jam uh, on the western express highway as usual uh, uh, so uh, people are you know like now uh, they have you know left it on god jo hoga dekha jayega chalo you know like and the pet marna nahi padega covid se marenge that is the first thing that has been happening for like uh, for the entire globally like even if you don't die of covid uh, i mean you are going to die of hunger <laughs> Ah, I mean, sure. You know that. I mean, and how how many how many can afford to be at home, or how many can afford to work from home? I mean, though work from home culture is ah, like ah, a kind of. Good evening, welcome, welcome to our our Hello, own Mamuji. show. Good evening. Yeah, good evening. And, Thankful uh, to give us a platform to talk. No, no, no. Yes, Thankful it's my honor. Thankful to give us a platform to talk. Yes, that is an honor for me. Can I just push push back the laptop screen so that you can all you know, I can see? Ah, uh -huh, yeah, yeah, I'm doing that. I'm doing that so that everyone is in. Or you can maybe shift uh, your chair slightly. Ah, uh -huh. so I'll just scroll. Now it's good. I think we are all visible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that, as that well fine. as audible. Audible and visible okay. both. <laughs> both. <laughs> yeah. That's. So I mean, as we are talking, like, how many can office can afford to be at home? you know like uh, we have unless like uh, we are we are looking at a population of 135 crores i mean obviously most people for different reasons they can have work parts partly from home but not maybe full time I and mean, there are so many segments of society so but i will you know like i uh, i i know a lot of you no know, like of course i mean we are all uh, you know uh, terrorized with the fact that you know covid is around but uh, a lot of you know uh, new things we are trying to develop now one of them is you know sanitization yes, yes. so uh, you know like we are uh, we are trying to although you know i used to carry a sanitizer in my laptop bag always so mm. but now you know uh, uh, i mean now it's i can see it all around that you know like ha huh. so <laughs> unnecessarily people are not going close to each other 
Yeah. So, uh, uh, you know, like, so, you know, this, this kind of sanitization, hygiene, a sense yeah. of hygiene, which is, which is very important in a place like uh, India. Okay? Yeah, yeah. So now people are, you know, like slowly trying to realize that. Mm. So th that's one positive aspect of that. Just I'll come and to I you. think the air quality and the air quality. Yeah, yeah. There's less of, less of pollution. Less Be it sound pollution, air pollution or whatever. Yeah. Uh, I yeah. feel, you know. Uh, it's unfortunate that today the air is pure, but we have to wear a mask and go out. We have to wear a mask. That's, that's the... Mask and go out. Yeah. Today I, I we, are free. Uh, we are free. We are free. We would welcome people at home. We don't yes. have that much of work, yeah. work pressure. Yeah. But we cannot call people for dinner or <laughs> evening snacks or whatever. We are confined somewhere. And yeah. we have to love our family. Uh, I mean, with no choice. By no choice, we have to. <laughs> There's no choice. <laughs> and especially the festive season, you know, uh, like yeah. the Ganesh Puja, which is yeah. basically a very household festivity all around in Maharashtra especially. And right. you know that we have been keeping uh, Ganesh Puja at home for yes. ages. I mean, yes. it's been almost, you know, like more than Many 20 years, years now. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, like we are feeling bad. So, you know, I mean, we are, we are keeping it. But again, you know, like, uh, you know, a Ganesh Puja without guests, yeah. And without that, you know, like fun and all, you know, like it's yeah. uh, basically, even I, I, I met uh, Chakravarti Da in, uh, in his office that day. Yeah. Even he's doubtful whether the Durga Puja will happen this time in Mira Road. Yeah, unless, so, unless I the permission. I'm big, very sad. Big <laughs> disappointment will, for us. We'll, uh, we'll have to so, wait uh, because the permi if the police doesn't give permission and uh, like, uh, like for Janmashtami also it happened. So they don't, I mean, they uh, don't want correct. to take a risk where uh, already infections are, are, are on the rise. I mean, uh, we are looking at a situation for the, like, so we can have a gathering, but again, uh, who is going to risk it? Because you, the social distancing is always going to be up for a toss. Uh, kids are not being, we, we cannot control kids all the time. We no, no, control, no, like, this crowd control is going to be Now we risk. have to rely on this virtual communication. Yeah, virtual puja. We have to watch rely. It, it, we live have on, to... Puja on YouTube. Huh? Yes. <laughs> I think I think Ram Krishna Mission is already doing that. I think the daily uh, bhajans and artists, uh, seven thirty evening. I think they have their they sure. telecast it live on their YouTube uh, Ram Krishna Mission uh, Har. If I'm not wrong, I, I may okay. be wrong, but I think they are already doing that. So is this the way ahead? I don't know. <laughs> but so somewhere or the is. other, it is important, Tamuji, to get communicated, isn't it? So. Of Somewhere or the other, man by nature is social. So we have yes. to be communicative. Yes. And yes, yes. today we have to depend on technology. Yes. But the ultimate thing is mm. communication. Communication. Yes, yes, yes. yes. It has always, always been. I mean, uh, whenever there is... Com and communication, uh, which way, what way... I mean, though technology has helped a lot. Like uh, we have seen through Facebook, WhatsApp and this thing. But again, we have to... Uh, another thing we have to understand it very nicely is like, uh, how do we filter it? That is, which communication we retain and how are we guided by that communication? You know, like, uh, that is also right. an important aspect. I can tell you one thing. Hmm. Uh, Tamujit, I can tell you one thing. There are people hmm. at home amidst family members mm -hmm. or amidst friends, but still they feel very isolated and lonely. Mm -hmm. And when the thing is that it's all personal, I understand. But one thing I can tell you, it's Everybody wants to be heard, That's to be really cared. Right. Yeah. And yeah. for that reason, you know, listening is very important. Listening skill. You know, and when we talk about listening, it's not that I'm listening. I'm with the mobile, I'm listening. Okay, say whatever you have to say. That is not active listening. Yeah. You know, active listening is when you are involving your brain into yeah. it. Yeah. And, and it really matters. It really helps a lot to... Uh, develop relationships. Oh, one thing That's is like, list, like, like. I mean, you are a, uh, you are a coach. You, you I mean, uh, you have done a lot of sessions over this. Uh, the active listening and passive listening. Uh, the key difference here being is like, someone is listening to retort or to reply, and someone is listening to understand. So you understand. Actually, yes, that yeah. is active listening. When yeah. you are listening to understand, you may not give the answer. You do not yeah. uh, do not need to reciprocate that time. But yeah. you have to show through your expression or your mind mm. that you are giving importance to the person who is talking to you. True. You know, in between you can just nod. Mm, oh, really? Okay. Like some facial expression, some way of, you know, showing empathy. 
Yeah. We should not be judgmental that time. Judgmental. Maybe the person in front is very stressed out, you know. Yeah. Uh, I mean, whatever he's talking or saying to you may not make much sense. Mm -hmm. But at that point of time, let him speak out. Let out. Let him, speak let him speak pour out. out. Yeah. Yes, let's not be judgmental. Let's listen to that person, mm -hmm. you know, with genuinity. Mm -hmm. And that helps a lot, you know, that it empathy, is. that feeling. Yeah. That feeling that you're being cared, you're being given importance, you know, I feel that is a very healthy way of, you know, interacting. Yes, and uh, probably, you know, this causes, I mean, this improves the mental health. Yeah, yeah. People yeah. from far away, sometimes they call up somebody mm. just to talk, mm. just to pour out their heart. Mm. Maybe the other person doesn't even know what is happening there. Yeah, but yeah. That, to that person that makes some difference. And this, this, yeah, yeah, like on this on this issue of mental health, don't you think this is a subject that has been very neglected or like uh, you know like uh, taken very uh, you know like not very seriously in our society? What do you think about it? Like, like mental health is you know mental health. The moment people talk about mental health, they feel you know somebody is mad or something. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. not that mm -hmm. mental. Uh, this you know when we are suffering from some depression or mm -hmm. problem. Mm. It can happen to anybody, mm -hmm. to any healthy being, mm -hmm. you know, and it needs some, when it is an extreme stage, mm -hmm. you know, you have to go for uh, to a therapist, mm -hmm. but even if it is in a small scale, mm -hmm. you need to talk to the, to a person mm -hmm. who will understand you, or at least let that person try to, uh, you know, show his or her empathy on you, sympathy mm -hmm. on you, and you feel a little better in that, mm -hmm. you know. This, this is one aspect I would say. The mm. causes may be uh, different. It may vary from person to person. But mm. the approach, you know, a good friend calling up or talking, you know, this little bit makes you feel easy and good. I okay. feel this is what, you know, I, I have found elderly people, mm. aged people, small mm. kids, they all want this importance. Mm. And when they feel very dejected, isolated, neglected, unheard, uh, deep within they develop some you know inner complication and somewhere they go towards that mental problem thing I'm not talking about very big problems mm -hmm. wherein you have to go to a therapist and discuss your problem I'm talking about the small things in life which might cause this uh, mental problems you know uh, it's 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 very easy actually to uh, speak about this but when when people actually tell you that they have anxiety issues, they are sensitive to some things. Some people have this attitude that there are people who are less fortunate than you. Look at them, they are happy. You try to be, you know, you build up that confidence. Don't be so sensitive, you are so touchy. But people should understand it's not about being, uh, you know, overly sensitive, touchy. A person is getting affected, a person is vulnerable, but people, you know, have that attitude ki, look at the brighter side in life, you know, look at the less fortunate, you know, build up that thick skin, but they have to understand that sometimes a person may not be in that mental state to, you know, compare the, uh, you know, look at or compare the better things in their life or something. So I think people still have this narrow attitude to look at depression, to look at anxiety. I feel, you know, they somehow pin the thing on the person who is undergoing that situation. So, yeah, yeah. That, that's the same. Everybody part. has their own problem, actually. Some yes. people are not strong mentally enough. Yeah. Sister, I mean, uh, yeah, it's a very important part. I'm, I'm, I'm coming to you. How do you think your age group or like your peer group or, you know, like the, uh, the let's say the student or uh, your peer group, how does your generation, like in your in a early 20s and all, how do you, I mean, obviously the stresses are huge, like from education to studies uh, to, you know, like finding a placement for a job and everything. How, how much do you think, uh, I mean, I, I wrote a piece on this sometime back, like the, there was a movie, I think Rahul Bose Starer, I think uh, it was said like, and this was like 20 years ago, it was said like, everybody says I am fine. You know, like, because that, that, that is, I think that is the kind of pressure you're talking about when you have to say, look at others and all. So how do, does your generation react or how does your generation respond to it from how, how, how do you think like the, from the psychology of uh, how people react or how they should be reacting? 
I feel uh, every I feel everyone has uh, a different experience. Like mm. you know, based on their personality. I for myself, I am still very overly sensitive. I mm. I get anxious over small mm. small things, and mm. while you know, I'm trying to build that up. I feel that I'm you know blessed to have um, you know parents who are like very mm. because now. i'm in a phase of life where you know because of the lockdown many things they are affecting some you know decisions in my life because the routine has you know totally changed and everything you know there are times when i'm feeling very monotonous while my work from home and everything so i am blessed that my parents are understanding you know they are not like you know you have to stick to this job because you know the economy is not well you know you cannot you know take risk you have to stick to this you know i don't have friends who are you know imposing their decisions or you know their things on me so i am surrounded by people who understand me who you know have embraced me along with my flaws they understand even you know when i react in a certain way or if even if they are not in par with with the things you know i'm sticking to but unfortunately there are not many people you know who um, who have this thing i have uh, i have many friends you know who want to take a different career route who want to take a different line altogether but maybe they are receiving some peer pressure or familial pressure and they cannot say anything like you know they have constant fights at home but i don't know like i feel luckily i am not experiencing all those things but i feel still there are certain anxiety issues or something which my generation needs to work on and i think the people around them they have to be a little more sensitive maybe it's the age group because there are so many things at one point of time we are being told that you have to be more responsible but the other side you know we are being told ki you know just take it slow take it slow so you know there is there are a lot of conflicting emotions in every sphere of life yes. be it career be it job many things like i am a girl like i am also being told in some years you will get married you know mm. yes, just so true, so function true. yourself in that way even that adds to a different level of stress mm. because right now i'm still um mm. you, i i can say i'm not ashamed to admit i'm still very immature and mm. very emotionally dependent on my parents mm. on mm. my friends Mm. even if i have ups and downs with my parents i am still very dependent on them so mm. so it affects me when i have that thing with them or something but luckily they are very supportive my family my friends because now it's not the 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 ideal time for us like all my friends including me our career plans our academic plans all have gone for a toss there has been a drastic change Mm-hmm. Like many of my friends were planning to, uh, you know, fly to Canada and everything. Right. They cannot do that. They are stuck at home. They don't know what to do right now. Uh-huh. So yeah, it's not a very good phase, but we have to, you know, tag along. But maybe you can share. I mean, the, there there is no straightforward answer to that. There is no straightforward <laughs> solution. Like say, but over a course of like say, uh, I'm presuming that a uh, human being lives normally till sixty, sixty, seventy-five, eighty. Over a phase of this much this many years na this one year i mean i have i have been telling my uh, friends or relatives who have been asking over stressing this one year phase or four or five phase uh, for uh, four or five months phase is actually not a very you know like uh, big loss the kind of loss um, materialistically maybe we are maybe our lifestyle and everything has gone for toss but again uh, maybe you can help this populate that okay i mean things happen and it's not that uh, we are planning for this nobody planned for this situation or nobody anticipated that this will happen but since it has come to it so maybe over a like they can uh, stress a little less you know like over like say let's just say okay this is like a maybe a temporary phase and maybe we can realign our sights or realign our thinking uh, or not overthink over some issue that overthinking is also an uh, issue where, like i think the the youngsters even i i when i was your age or or age group i used to do the same thing because i was also very anxious and all this thing but gradually i realized that some things you just cannot control or like uh, the society pressures are, is always going to be there for a guy it's different for a girl it's different but there is always going to be pressure 
but that pressure builds up builds up builds up then oh, there's a oh, kind of reaction that happens overthinking overthinking is a major problem even i have this issue like indirectly we create our own problems even i do that right now okay i am having a, a stress but you know i keep on thinking about it that it will lead to another thing that will lead to another thing and it piles up right so yeah exactly like this overthinking like there is, we have to find a need to distract ourselves from this overthinking i think it it adds to the anxiety it adds to the stress right 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 okay now now let's say uh, i i just want to have a few fun questions with you guys uh let's let's talk uh, i mean uh, no uh, before i finish i mean is, is there anything else you want to add on this topic shrestha like for, like from your how uh, from your working way how the working pattern has changed in your industry the media and entertainment i know it's like gone for dos like how, how is this also an opportunity for you to study more into your craft or your trade you know like uh, like uh, maybe getting more insights into the kind of uh, in interviews or the kind of questionnaires you put up to celebs or the actors how how have you you been utilizing this time uh from the work front i will say uh, i will admit that it has the work pressure has increased in fact you know uh, when we were first announced a work from home i thought that it will be more relaxing because <laughs> um when the lockdown was not there i used to stay at my grandfather's place and used to travel from the, uh, there i used to only come to mira road on the weekends so suddenly when the lockdown was announced one fine day i had to shift here completely and i thought okay like it's a very drastic change in the routine but the work pressure will considerably increase because we are working from home the traveling part is not there but i think the opposite happened the work pressure increased a lot and um, like not to blame on anyone but i think even the people at my workplace maybe even they are a little at ease and you know the work functioning it was much more efficient in the workplace okay. like even if i don't like traveling to work i can say now i really miss the old routine because at least the work part was happening in a very efficient manner <laughs> now it's a little unprofessional it's a, it's a little lethargic you know because we i am a breaking news writer i uh, break uh, you know news in 5 10 minutes i have to write a 350 word news article in 5 10 minutes mm -hmm. and i have that constant pressure from my editor i have to make the image also for that news article mm -hmm. so i have a target to finish my work on time i don't even have my lunch or take bath till that time because i am in this constant pressure i don't like to work after a period of time my mother tells me ki you know have something you take a break but i know i don't want to take my work for a prolonged period of time with me but you know because my editors the people at my uh, you know workplace they take a lot of time to assign stories or you know they you know sometimes they don't give the right story or something it takes a toll on the writers you know i guess they have this mentality because a person is working from home they have enough time in their hand that they can work the entire day if a story gets reassigned or something they'll again log in and again work on that but i don't relate to this type of you know functioning like it takes a toll on me um and also uh, you can say the type of stories i mean it is not a very good time for the film industry also right. so with um, sushant singh rajput's demise then you know so many tv actors committing suicide and right. many people uh, you know dying of old age or you know being right. uh, getting yes. cancer or covid the kind of stories also you write at the end of the day it right. also matters Perfect. you know like right. if because i remember um, when um, this thing happened when uh, sushant's case happened out of nine stories i was writing seven or eight stories on him back to back, back, to back. i was being assigned back to back i was being told you have to work on this 3 4 minutes when you have to break it mm -hmm. so it takes a toll and a you know when you are writing about a person's demise mm -hmm. about a person's happier days about you know a person's family member uh, in mourning in grief it takes a toll on you also yeah. so 
yeah unfortunately it's the scenario is it's pretty much stagnant for me at my workplace you can say but it's okay like i'm tr trying to deal with it in my own way so that the stress level reduces because i cannot now it's not in my hands i cannot change it overnight exactly so, so yeah no matter the technology or anything the human the human element uh, i think we all felt it that kusturidi you said kunishu that you must have uh, said like that human element of the social interaction uh, i mean they, you, i mean technology is very good i mean it has brought everything to our doorstep it, it is it is taking away the human element it is taking away the human you element know, the, kind of the personal the touch. personal care personal you know, care of the person as far away we are again again somebody is, which you are very happy Now I would like to another ask another question. Isn't it a matter of choice or compulsion, or is it a mix, uh, mixture of both? How do you uh, define it? Like technology, I decide to let's say uh, be on the mobile in the evening instead of going out and meeting people. So isn't it a matter of when? I'm not talking about COVID times. I'm talking about pre-COVID times. Isn't it been happening for last five, seven years or ten years where like even by choice we have allowed another or alter ego our mobile into our our own lives? how do you uh, it, it's a matter of choice it has become a matter of choice initially it was not a matter of choice mm -hmm. it was like you know we uh, it uh, uh, lack of time uh, all together our work pressure so it was very convenient for for us to text a message to wish somebody but now it's an addiction it's it's our choice we have developed that addiction mm -hmm. it's totally you know we feel better that way we would mm. neglect the other elements we would try to get always connected to the virtual world and uh, you know feel have a good feel that we are amidst all you know that feel but probably the best of friends are not always on facebook or whatsapp mm. they are you on, know on, 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 close on, to heart close to heart yes you talk to them personally <laughs> you will you will have that satisfaction you know yeah. whatever you may cry out you may say anything but that is a very good feel but i, I maybe i'm a, a more of a real person in certain ways uh, so of course i would say facebook whatsapp and this technology has brought uh, you know has uh, improved has developed communication mm -hmm. a lot mm -hmm. because uh, in today's uh, world it's not possible mm -hmm. to be in touch mm -hmm. everybody in this way my old friends you know generation old friends they had been uh, in touch with me through facebook i could mm -hmm. be in touch with them mm -hmm. in contact with them through facebook and then whatsapp and now we have become closer i would say because we yeah. lost the touch you mm -hmm. know it, it again developed but still i would say there we have many friends in this world but mm -hmm. there are very few friends who are very close to heart mm -hmm. and those close to heart friends or whoever it is your family member whoever would like to talk to you personally you know get in touch with you uh, that's my feeling that's really okay konishkoda now i'll move on to our next sec sec segment that is about uh, let's talk about your uh, uh, favorite uh, music i mean what genre of songs uh, do you enjoy and what what kind of music and films would you like to be made or you know like uh, no tomaji in fact uh, very frequently i've been mentioning in this on public domain that i think uh, uh, to kasturi also a certain, certain extent that we are born in the best period of music yes 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 see you are uh, quite you know junior to me but mm -hmm. you know i think you know i've been telling this that uh, we are lucky enough that mm -hmm. we have grown up with uh, kishor kumar we have grown up with mohammad rafi we have uh, mm -hmm. grown up with manna de mahendra kapoor adi varman lakshmikant pyarelal Jagjit I mean, Singh. See, it's not that you know. Uh, the moment you are born, okay. Uh, I was uh, born in a uh, you know musical family in the sense. Yeah. My uh, from my mother's side, especially. Yeah. Not from my father's side. Uh -huh. From mother, my mother's side, you know, uh, they were you know like musically crazy. Mm. So uh, from the time you know I started growing up, I've been listening to all your you know like Robin or Shungit, then you know like your classics like Gubbi Gan Bagabai songs. Mm. Okay. So uh, then you start you know like. Uh, then i am a movie buff okay so my my entire family except my father you know they uh, my mother side my uncle my cousin they are all you know like uh, you know like uh, movie mad guys so you know uh, I, we have been seeing a lot of movies uh, so basically then you know like you tend to you know create and you know uh, you know 
with the flow then you start you know like getting into you know like that affiliation of you know like movies and you know somewhere people say that my memory is quite good you know she keeps on teasing me that the moment i see any old movie i immediately you know recollect that which theater in kolkata had seen this movie so <laughs> so you know i i remember that way if if some movie you know like uh, you know uh, remains in your heart you you tend to you know like live with that movie live with that movie live with that song like you know hathi mere sathi for example that was my first rajesh khanna movie so i still uh, uh, remember i went for a 5 o'clock show in priya in deshopriya park so i i still remember i i remember all the amitabh bachchan movies which i have seen you know in which theaters in kolkata bhawanipur hazra you know priya boshushi ujjwala so you know i can you know like uh, remember them you know like uh, mindfully so i think you know like i am i am privileged uh, like you know my my, uh, my friends from that generation that uh, we have witnessed the best of the movies best of the music like she is the one who you know keeps on making faces when you know, like <laughs> i i we, we we both call her you know like see this is madhubala this is nutan uh-huh. and this is the way i explain her that nutan means kajols uh, yeah, yeah that, kajols that, that, that kind of auntie Is so that way no, she she relates. Although she she is very fond of uh, Madhu Bala. Uh, so so she uh, she uh, prefers it. But you know, like that that's basically the connect way you which you try to impart that to your generations. Yeah. Because Just I, I think one these sec, are the I want to mention something here. Yeah. This pandemic has also brought out his creativity. Uh, that too, we have this passion of music. Yeah. It was a passion, but we never thought it will be realized in this way. The way he keeps on singing. and you know i find him so much engrossed with this mm. developing himself mm. and uh, uh, i mean i am also filled with surprise that he can be a good singer like this and <laughs> i knew him as a good painter artist artist uh, he's uh, very good in his cartoons and all uh, that he's very good in that he's uh, very creative actually actually both of them he's into singing even she sings well she has started reciting poetry and my friends <laughs> have told me that none of her parents are having such a cool lockdown they are under the impression <laughs> they are uh, my parents are enjoying the lockdown very much my, uh, one of my best friend was telling like you know i see my parents and then i look at your parents i like all the even if i don't see their songs i just you know like their facebook uh, you know all the posts which they see because they think that my parents are more of a millennial than me right now they are enjoying the lockdown more than me like i am stressed out half of the time but they are making the most of the lockdown i can actually say. i am very pally with her friends you know <laughs> because you know like uh, to uh, to give her a to give her a surprise on her birthday <laughs> one of her friend uh, she, he created a uh, you know whatsapp group in That's which it. you know like we wa- they wanted to give her a surprise so i was a part of that whatsapp group and i started chatting with them in my free time <laughs> so you know like i i wanted to know some whereabouts of theirs although yeah. i don't know, i mean i've just heard their names but you know like more i was trying to cure curious mm-hmm. to know about, about them but mm-hmm. actually it's good you know because he is very pally with his daughter you know mm-hmm. and uh, it is a balance of life i'm little bit Speaker. more like a, a teacher in That's some ways <laughs> you know whenever i'm talking to her maybe i'm counseling her i'm just but, showing her this is the right way this is the wrong way maybe i'm wrong <laughs> uh, but i i would like certain things to be done in certain so orderly certain way manner, more of a discipline you know like this is strict discipline uh, no, actually <laughs> in, in 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 our home we yeah. have divided that responsibility <laughs> like i will be more of a friend to her and she'll be more of a kind of guardian, uh, guard, and, guardian. you know like uh, that kind of strict discipline discipline in whatever you call it for but that, but that is that, so that is now true. she's getting yeah. both yeah. the ways both my even my mom was she's uh, like talented. that she's very she's even very good dancer you know Yeah, yeah, so it's like Shrestha, Shrestha dances very well. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen that. I've seen that. She, I've seen that. Actually, I mean, uh, yeah, I mean, I don't know if you remember, but I identified this uh, your uh, social. I had not. It's not to say I identified, but I noticed it very often, and maybe that is the reason. Uh, you know, we, we did a show, show together a couple of years ago in uh, Durga Puja. So I knew Kosturi uh-huh. could handle it, and Kosturi could have uh, done justice to that. So I felt that anchoring, uh, I believe, anchoring. She, she, I did the anchoring, anchoring, but next time I would like to sing. <laughs> <laughs> definitely, definitely. Now I have. Now, now we have more. 
more skill sets, you know, like and more confidence. So, I mean, <laughs> so that is how I mean. Like, and Kasturi, I've been. Uh, she has been telling me that you know, like you speak to Tomoji, then create a group, you know. Uh, Sometimes you you all can make a like you know like no, a, I, I mean it, a no, musical okay, adda. I, I feel you know you should have a musical adda and you should uh, why not form a group. Groups are ready. Where I mean, you, uh, it's always ready. You tell me when to. Uh, I mean, you tell me the venue or uh, and the menu. <laughs> I'll be ready. No, there's no venue. Venue is not there. <laughs> it has to be virtual. It has to be virtual menu with cha, pavi, pakoda, and all these things. There has to be a menu. And, uh, so we can, we, we can show it on a platter to you. We yeah, can you show it on a platter to you. <laughs> <laughs> Many of my artist friends are actually doing that. I mean, what they do is sing that. Song, sing two lines, huh? Tamajit, sing two lines. You are such a great singer. I know. <laughs> I just think. I mean, I just, Aray, what is that? Two lines. Aray, this is uh, this is uh, totally about you. I mean, today's, today's, uh, today's weather just tells one thing. Only about only one song. It's not Rim Jim actually still. Rim Jim Gire Savan Sulag Sulag Jai Man Inge Aaj Is Mausam Me Lagi Kaisi Ye Agan Rim Jim Gire Savan Lovely, really. <laughs> okay, my next question, uh, my next question for you, uh, it's a kind of a rapid fire. Shrestha, first question, uh, Rithik, Shahrukh, Amir or Salman? Your favorite? Hey, Bob, <laughs> hey, don't be coffee with Karan. We you don't want like any more Karan Johar. She wants you to repeat the question. I didn't care. Your, your favorite actor? <laughs> your favorite actor and your favorite film? Uh, my favorite out of these these people. I repeat the names. No? Can you repeat the names? Okay, I mean your choice. I mean I had a stand of kind of uh, Rithik, Shahrukh, Amir or Salman. Or let's say the next is Ayushman, Rajkumar Rao. Varun Dhawan and uh, amongst the uh, among any um, amongst the new crop of actors, which 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 is who is your favorite actor and the kind of genre of films you like? The first group I would select uh, Shah Rukh Khan because I don't care whatever people say, I still like him and I'll continue <laughs> liking him. The second segment I really like. By the way, Shah Rukh Khan in his father's age. By the way. <laughs> <laughs> And he's still, and he's still romances. Romance is the. Yes, romance absolutely, the absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Okay. The second slot, uh, I'm really fond of Ayushman Khurana. Like, Ayushman. I've also been fortunate to interview him, and he's been like really down to earth and hmm. you know humble even during his interviews. My mom also, you know, <laughs> met him. Like, he was very, you know. Uh, you know, good to her also. Yeah, and yeah. film, actually film, it's very difficult. I'm more into uh, web series right now. Horror. Okay. Okay. She's part of horror movies. Horror <laughs> no, movies. no, not like yeah, that. that way. Uh, which, 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 uh, yeah, which like uh, I'm genre? more into web series right now. But uh, the movies, it keeps on changing. Like I am fond of any, as long as it entertains me, I like to watch it. I don't have any specific favorite. Have you seen the, this uh, web series called Brief? By Abhishek Bachchan? Yes. Uh, the, the second season we are watching. Not I, the complete one, but uh, till fifth episode. Actually, unfortunately, I watched the first season. The second season, the the first episode, me and, uh, you know, he, he were watching, like, we finished the first episode. And the very next day at work, I got the story to write, <laughs> breathe, ceasing to ending, explain. <laughs> so I had to refer... <laughs> A whole the synopsis of the show where the entire end, ending got spoiled for me, but right. still because I'm I like that genre, uh, so still we are watching it, like mm. because you know I'm over on fond of you know genres like that, the psychological right. thriller basically. Now, uh, now we are watching that uh, the war movie. What is that? Uh, Avrod. 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 That's based on that Uri attack. Avrod, right? That's uh, yeah, that's interesting. Really interesting. Awesome. Yeah, interesting movie. I uh, I like the show called Dark. It's on Netflix. It's Dark, based no? on time travel. Mm. So in recent times, I really um, like that show called Dark. Yeah. Right, right. Well, I mean, the next question. Kusturi, I must say, if it is like Karan, you are like questions. I don't have that hold or that kind of power <laughs> to impress people. <laughs> hamper, hamper. 
No, I'm fine. That we are more like than happy <laughs> that we have got Tomojit. We are more than happy. <laughs> It should be yeah. tea with tamajit. Tea with yeah. tamajit. <laughs> or we get tandoori with tamajit. <laughs> tandoori chicken. Yeah, tandoori with tamajit. Let's give me tandoori chicken for my show. So, <laughs> so you bribe me that way. I don't bribe anyone. I don't have that. Okay, anyways. Next question uh, about food. Elise, chingri, mutton or chicken? Your choices. Me. To me. Yes. To yes. me. Food. food question. Elise, chingri, three. mutton and? Chicken. Then for me, it's mutton. Oh, mutton, Kodishkada, okay. Uh, Kostiri, you? Chingri. Chingri, okay. Chingri. <laughs> and Shrestha, you? Shrestha, what do you want to Chicken, chicken. Chicken, okay. So, yeah, it's, it's like a house uh, divided on uh, the, the favorite delicacies, huh? Ch yeah. Chicken, you know, chicken can be made in different style. Like, that is an yeah. advantage. I'm, yeah. I'm fond of chili chicken more. Like, I'm and basically... Lollipop. Yeah, lollipop. lollipop. <laughs> and like, I'm... I love Chinese food and, you know, my, my mother makes um, nice, uh, you know, chili chicken and even my dad now, he he makes amazing <laughs> chili pork. So that's why like, you know, like, yeah, I enjoy the whole uh, Chinese. I'm a bit traditional. I'm a bit traditional. Uh, I like the fish part more. I fish, like the uh, yeah. fish part more. My next question was that Chicken because I... I if you ask me, I, I have been known everywhere. Like uh, the is like cat when it comes to fish. So, so what? What about your different yeah. uh, fish items, uh, which you would like? And Kurishkoda likes which item, and Kesha which uh, dish of fish they like. What he likes? What he you likes, like? what you know, anything prepared. No, I, 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 I love anything which is spicy. Oh, is spicy? Okay. <laughs> uh, huh, because I'm, I'm a, I have enough sweetness in me, so I don't like much of sweets. <laughs> Although, although I'm on borderline sugar, so yeah. uh, I, I love spicy and, you know, like, uh, uh, masala wala. I'm a, to defy, he also likes the, uh, you know, light fish curry with, uh, what we say, kachkala, kachkala paya kachkala. and all that, what we have, yes. Patla jhol. Patla jhol. <laughs> that also he enjoys a lot. It's not that always he has to take spicy. But then, uh, when it comes to mutton and all that, he likes spicy. Maybe it's two for that matter. Huh, how, how about you? How about you? Actually, I'm not much of foodie, you know. I'm not, I'm a very poor eater these days. You're, you're a good cook, actually. He's a tea holic. <laughs> tea holic. <laughs> he loves tea. <laughs> I'm more of vegetables, fruits, and all that. But yes, I like non veg things. The sweet tooth. Yeah. I've got sweet tooth as well. But yes, I like, I like this Ilish, Ilish Mach Bhaja with that oil that I like. Uh, Shoshe Bata and I like uh, this thing Chingri Mach, what we yeah. call any kind of fish prepared well chicken at times not much, not that fond of chicken and all dry things I like more chicken cut to dry preparations pepper chicken and all that I like more and mutton at times anything which is a bit hard digestive too spicy doesn't suit me much mm. just the opposite just the reverse, yeah, reverse. I'm a little light <laughs> Shesta, what about Actually, you? my my food and Sesta's both of our choices more similar. Right, right. Because right. you know, like she's more balanced. We are a little bit, you know, like a uh, little bit, you know, like wild on food. But <laughs> one good thing, you know, I have developed in him. He never drank tea throughout life. I would say till fifty year, uh, fifty five year, uh, fifty two years, he never touched tea. Recently, he had started drinking tea, black tea. The way I'm preparing because of this pandemic, it's like a kada I'm preparing with everything, with cinnamon, uh, black pepper, um, adrak, everything mm. together in a different way with soap and all that. That he has started drinking and uh, since he is more into singing and all, I also put lemon, honey and all that. So I think here I'm successful. I have developed one good habit in him. Chalo, the rest fantastic, I can't fantastic, control. Let him fantastic. take. Let him take anything. But one good thing I've developed in him. Okay. Fine. Next question is like, uh, right? Uh, train, car, bus, and flight. What is your favorite? If you had a wish, what is your uh, mode of uh, comfort level of travel? Which one do you prefer and why? Mode of travel to. I prefer by road. road. Prefer by. Road. I prefer road journey. Road journey. Okay. I prefer flight. 
Yeah, I prefer flying. Like, you like flights. Okay. But I'll, I'll, I'll tell you, I am not very fond of driving. Okay. Not fond of driving. Because I dro drove so much in uh -huh. the last uh, umpteen number of years. But <laughs> lately, you know, I have, you know, like with thanks to the traffic jams, and I am, I am very short tempered while I drive. <laughs> so I give the filthiest of the galis on the roads when someone doesn't, you know, like someone who, you know, unwantedly come in front of my car, you know. So, so that is in, in order to. <laughs> that time is... I have to tell him that I have got migraine. Please okay. <laughs> consider me and don't uh, <laughs> throw galis. So in order to control my temper and blood pressure, I, I, I I'm, you know, I'm more fond of a chauffeur-driven. Mode of road transport. <laughs> so we have Ola, Ola and Uber are always there for you. Zindabad, Zindabad. Any time. I like anytime. road journey. I also like. I like the journey, not the destination. Yeah. I love the you know uh, the, the way we are traveling, the way we are enjoying. We are halting somewhere, having tea, or just enjoying a bit. You know, all these things even I enjoy. But yes, when it's a too long a journey. Hill station too steep. I get a little bit, a little bit of giddiness. Mm -hmm. So there, I find little difficulty. Or else, I really enjoy road journey. Fantastic. And flight is, of course, when you are you don't have time, it's fine to be on flight. Right. Well, once upon a time, I used to be very scared of flying. Okay. So uh, so, but you no know, later, forcefully, you know, you you had to had to tour a lot. Mm -hmm. So that was, you know, that's the only thing. Otherwise, I prefer road. Mm -hmm. Mostly, you know, me and my daughter, Shreshta and me, myself, both of us had traveled a lot. I mean, travel means in our own way. We had been to Rajasthan together. He was out. He never came with us, huh? Frankly speaking. <laughs> Shreshta, <laughs> me and Shreshta. We went to Uttarakhand. We went to Rajasthan. We went to Uti. All these places we have been together. And it was a wonderful experience. Like, if it is a planned trip, you know, with those two ladies going this way, uh, it's really enjoyable. Out, 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 when the COVID situation uh, ends and uh, when we have more travel, so what is the destination you would like to visit? Kolkata. <laughs> uh, Kolkata is definitely there okay. because I have my dear ones over there. Yeah. Kolkata is always, you know, I, I miss that Goria heart, having that roadside tea, mm. lebucha, what we call, yeah. you know, that chicken roll or whatever, and the food item. I miss my friends over there, you mm. know, going, just entering some cafe, sitting there, chal mood ban jata hai. Those things are, my sister is there. Yeah. She's also my best friend. So yeah. Kolkata is definitely there, but there are a lot of, I'm a, I'm very fond of traveling. Mm. Uh, and, um, Unfortunately, that was not materialized in my marital life. I'm yeah, a little there's, sad there's about there's it. There's always, always an opportunity next time. I mean, not next time in married life. But God next knows. Time, after, next after Janam. This, after this. Next Janam, can we have a situation know. after that improves? <laughs> after okay. this, so we all have to be, you know, working uh, uh, for yeah. survival mode. Once Shesta, to work, you know. Shesta, what is your favorite destination you would like to visit after? The travel restrictions come out and you want to go. After this, uh, in India, I really want to go um, to places. I, I want to go to Goa again because we enjoyed the first time we went there. Then I would like to go like, you know, Kerala, then Manali, mm. Shimla because I'm not being yeah, to yeah. that, uh, you know, regions. And I really want to uh, travel abroad also again. Like we just went to Dubai. So I... I have Bangkok, London, you know, places like this on my wish list. So, mm -hmm. yeah, hopefully. It's all for the... yeah. Right. Okay, now choose but between... But even for Jau. For Jau. For Jau. Choose between the cities. <laughs> Bombay, Calcutta, Bangalore, Delhi and Kolkata. Which is your favorite city and why? Which place? Mumbai, anytime. Mumbai, anytime. <laughs> like, because everything is here. Like, my, all my memories growing up. Like, no other city can match Mumbai. Mm -hmm. Never. Parishkoda, what about you? I'll give a diplomatic answer. Uh, I'm physically in Mumbai, mentally in Kolkata. <laughs> <laughs> and Gostridi, how about you? Kolkata. Kolkata. Anytime. Anytime. Ever Anytime. ready to be in Kolkata. Ever ready to be in Kolkata. Okay. Now, I mean, I think now... Although I have got friends here. Mm. 
but that that is where you feel kolkata, a kind of kolkata kolkata i belong to goria hat side Right, right, right. And all my my school, South Point High School, my college, Jadavpur University, then Bengal Music College, CLT, where I had taken training, dance, music, everything was so close by. I could walk and reach. I used to enjoy so much. You know, Kolkata had been my favorite place throughout my life. And when I was in Mumbai, I felt you know I'm too far away from the mainstream. You know, wherever I had to go, I had to plan out. You know, catch a train or something or the uh, be very much you know aware of the time thing. Time management is so important here. You know, there I was more relaxed. There's more. But yes, there. work That's culture. I would say work culture Mumbai is better uh, altogether. Work culture I feel Mumbai is good, but Kolkata has its own charm for me. Yeah, I think I think it's very it's a very subjective matter, and uh, I mean for different reasons, yeah. Bombay for its work culture and more cosmopolitan and Kolkata for its. Uh, you know, like different uh, culture and uh, the creative part of it. So, I mean, uh, I, I will never. Especially who, uh, and especially who has been born in Kolkata. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. I mean, one has their roots there. So, you know, yeah, like. Yeah. Uh, born and brought up. Uh, born and brought up. Till... Half brought up, I will say, because yeah. people like me, I have I have studied in Kolkata. Then I have studied in uh, Mumbai. I have studied in Baroda. So, you know, like, I mean, I had. Severe kind of you know like divided education in three different regions, yeah. but still you know like yeah. that nobody can forget that primary root. Mm. You know like I mean I started you know from first standard and you know like the uh, you know my friends with whom you have grown up, and mm. uh, still we have a WhatsApp group with them uh, from our my school part of our own. So you know you you tend to you know like you have that thread which is connected till now. So you know that's basically the beauty for the beauty of it. But definitely, uh, when it comes to you know interacting with friends and all that, here I found in Mumbai, you know, uh, people have very open mind. You know, mm -hmm. uh, this is what I felt. I'm not yeah, yeah. you know judgmental. Yeah. Everybody is good, but here no people don't have that attitude. This is good. This is bad. Mm. You know, you're very open. Mm -hmm. That is one plus point. Wherever I've been, in, whether in school or, I mean, whichever group, you know, at the Bindas attitude is there. It's not yeah. that this is. Black. This is white. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, uh, yeah. Probably uh, the kind, the kind of life I'm leading. So in that way, I have, I felt like that. Um, the rest, of course, I'm Kolkata and Calcutta, and I love Kolkata. That's true. The food part, the environment, and everything. My dear ones are there, but certain elements in Mumbai always attracts me, and somewhere I feel also comfortable. Now yeah. I've got used to it. Lovely. That's a My not only a heartfelt answer. It's a not only diplomatic. It's a very heartfelt <laughs> answer. That's uh, what. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I think it's a very. I mean, we are uh, we are very small to judge. These are great cities and great cultures, uh, great civilizations. Exactly. Yeah. Bombay, Calcutta. I mean, in India. So, I mean, we people tend to judge, but again, that judgment is like it's an opinion. You have an opinion. I have an opinion. So we might differ on the opinions. Some say like Calcutta is the best, or Bombay is the best, or so. Yeah, actually, nothing is best that way. Nothing is best. Wherever you get used to and you feel comfortable, where you got positive vibes, that becomes your best place. Yes, yes. That I feel your, somewhere. That is, that is your place. So, okay. Next question uh, would what be... What about you, Tamojit? Can I ask you? Yeah, Which sure. I mean, I mean, like, like uh, Kunish Koda, I have also like have a kind of a varied, you know, like different uh, places. I have like, I was born in Calcutta. Then my father was working in Bengal paper mills, Rani Ganj. Thereafter, uh, for uh, he came to Busawal. So my schooling and education was there, and, and the cosmopolitan culture, That's even right. it was there. And it was like more of a cantonment and uh, you know colony kind of thing. So we had a mix all of all regions okay. and states there. It's always been that. I studied in a convent, That's so right. all people were there. So I mean, growing up where it hardly mattered like where we were. Like so, like I mean, okay. we never we never knew people by names. And not by their, uh, not by their. I mean, that did, didn't matter. It didn't matter like where they like South India, North India. And so that kind of thing never happened. Well, in working culture, I've okay. been in Bombay. My parents were in Wapi in Gujarat. My father worked for some time in UP. I've been to Delhi. My work took me to different places. So yeah, oh, but uh, I mean, Calcutta is very close to my heart. You know, Calcutta. Not only Calcutta. I don't uh, feel Calcutta is like you talk about Bengal. I like, love the whole of Bengal, like with, with different. Cultures. I have places like Bordhuman is uh, my father's uh, ancestral place. 
then kurnagar is where my kaku lives calcutta is where my metro uh, they live i have had opportunity to go to north bengal that side and there are many friends at the same time i love love maharashtra i am a domiciled maharashtrian mi marathi ahe mi marathi pan bolu shakto ani te i love maharashtra i love maharashtra for its like different you know like this the kind of openness people are very hard working and very sincere about their that's what i'm saying that hard working yeah. openness is definitely you yeah. when when i speak in marathi to my friends they said like you speak marathi like bengalis do like with sweet accent <laughs> hmm. so i i am totally home at with maharashtra i love maharashtra for different reasons like uh, and i i feel totally i, I not only like the mumbai side i also like the interior because i have been in the internal parts of maharashtra you know like say Uh, all the uh, the North Maharashtra side, then the Pune side, that side also. South Maharashtra, I've also been like Kolapur, Sholapur, these places. Okay. okay. And um, so, yeah, I can. It's, it's, I mean, I I I cannot. You cannot. Okay. I, I can't <laughs> pinpoint. You know, like I cannot say in black and white, like which is better or something. But I'll. Correct. Correct. That's what actually. So that is one thing. Okay. Next question would be, uh, what kind of uh, uh, change in society would you like to see? I know it's a very vast topic, but. Uh, what kind of a immediate change in society in terms of like say social equality or say justice i know it's a very wide terms or in terms of our general outlook needs to change post this covid period what is what are your views on it like in terms of like how we have uh, to uh, yeah one thing konishko so, mentioned was like about hygiene yeah hygiene part is one huh. definite thing so that is one i I, i already pointed out that but but that hygiene uh, i mean the the kind of Uh, you know uh, care we are taking of ourselves now has to continue now okay it's not that only you know only during the covid period you need to maintain this hygiene or sanitizing yourself but it has to continue right so probably you know covid has taught us to be neat and clean so uh-huh. i think that has to continue and uh, in this period one more thing which i have observed is that people are getting united uh, that you know even you know i'll give you an example of my society where i stay I mean, across all the religions, uh, whoever belongs to, people are you know like tend to behave very cohesively and you know like mm-hmm. uh, forgetting their own religion and jat path and all caste and creed. Mm-hmm. They are uh, they seem to be very helpful. You know, I'll I'll give you an example. You know, one day you know when it was total lockdown, not even a single mm-hmm. shop was open. You know, we wanted some uh, onions at home. So I just kind of messaged in the group that you know any can you all. any one any one of you can suggest that you know kanda kahan par mil sakta hai so one of the person in you know like building number 1 she said that please come and collect from my house because i have got some stuff so i think you know this this kind of you know like that social kind of integrity and uh, that uh, togetherness yes yes which yes. you know we have you know like built up during this mm-hmm. period has to continue has to mm-hmm. continue and i have noticed that this uh, that rigidness Hindu, Muslim, these very barriers, this mm-hmm. thought process needs mm-hmm. to be, you know, mm-hmm. that needs to be. Uh, that mm-hmm. is a baggage. I feel. That But is a baggage. This is right. This is wrong. Yes, that needs to be. Stop once and cut time. down, and people need. Uh, I mean, people should have an open mind and very yeah, yeah, yeah. and not be very judgmental that mm-hmm. this is right, this is wrong. In our culture, this is wrong. This is right. You know, just consider humanity is the best religion mm-hmm. and follow that way. Help each mm-hmm. other. Uh, God, visit. God, wo Allah ho ya God, jo bhi ho, will give you the result. Will hear you, you know. Beautifully, beautifully. We are Hindus, of course. We are Hindus. Definitely, we we have our to follow, of course. But we need to respect all religions. That is what we should not be too much, you know, political, politically charged with discussions of. you know religion and all that because i've seen some people they are quarreling they are getting into extremes this is what i don't like you know this is my opinion and yes another thing which uh, kanishka had pointed out that this um, uh, you know sanitization you know health awareness mm-hmm. this should be continued and what i found in the pl- in a place like mumbai people have a habit of spitting a lot while i'm in road i've noticed all the time people are just spitting what are what they are chewing all the time i don't know gutka ya pan ya whatever but then throwing and spitting has become a you know it's a natural thing mm. so that that needs to be controlled that and, and if 
that is one aspect which you have mentioned how about um, let's say uh, how do we build up a more cohesive society in terms of say uh, because i think one of the challenges we, we all are facing right now is like of challenges of uh, gainful employment or like you know like uh, like what we have mentioned small before. scale industries small scale, small industries. scale industries we should uh, we should encourage promote the small scale industries instead of instead of always going to the malls we can uh, reach out to the you know uh, people who are into uh, this kind of business like you know uh, we can help each other uh, uh, people who are into small scale business if they get connected we can promote them you know send uh, you know uh, we can uh, send their uh, what we say contacts to others through whatsapp and all you can Try start patronizing them actually patronizing them yeah one of the things like recently uh, recently yeah. i didn't even know uh, such a day existed because i had to write about it that's why uh, i came to know recently it was national handloom day that day is dedicated to the local handloom uh, weavers. weavers and weavers. the artisans who create you know all the you know the the tires the sarees by their own hand so it's you know the day is like for uplifting their work their craft because their work often goes unnoticed you know they are often struggling for employment for getting recognition for their work because of uh, so much uh, inclination towards you know the attires from the west so i think not only in this day even in other days their work should you know be recognized more Mm-hmm. so yeah and let's and focus more on indian things when we are buying something yeah. let's focus more on indian things mm-hmm. try to uh, you know promote that and but enjoy that, that. For, for, how, how will that foreign obsession go foreign made obsession or foreign i mean that's the that obsession that, that is there <laughs> certain things we have no choice uh, C- certain things are there technologically they are so advanced we have to depend on them but yeah. at least in some as some areas we can definitely promote our india like our hill stations i think our hill stations are one of the best in the world uh-huh. our valleys our rivers so our 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 forests yeah our tribe our tribal uh, population the way they live their life they they are they are a uh, example of hygiene already this around. organic thing yeah organic already have you noticed this organic things have become so popular yeah nowadays people are more into organic things and you know i with the organic things they rely on mm-hmm. these things more than anything else essential oil everything you know more <coughs> that organic uh, I mean, yeah everything is here in india like like as polishuda you pointed out even we felt it like when in the initial few days or like very stringent lockdown all these things a lot of young kids you know like uh, i'm in respect of any religion race or anything they were like supplying they were forced to supply uh, this thing so i have a lot of respect for them you know like for respect for them there is rain or sunshine every day three times they will come make a make a round they are doing it or uh, and by doing that not only they are earning about themselves but it's they are also putting their lives at their risk to serve us you know like to put things on our plate or everything so i think one of the aspects we like healthcare is one of the thing like we have been talking about it but the healthcare system of the country cannot be ramped up in one fine day like why should a rich uh, guy get treated and i cannot afford it so i cannot be treated this kind of distinct basic primary healthcare at a decent level that is one thing i would like to myself see change you know like uh, uh, means you is- mean to say the kids and all who are trying to uh, uh, i didn't get you properly like uh, what i, I, I think I, 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 i'll make it clear like uh, there were many uh, okay let me just rephrase it uh, there are two aspects actually, i actually was talking about one of them is being like uh, essential services like the kids or like say uh, the people who have been delivering or put up a small shop for bread bakery vegetables you know like groceries ah that's right uh, that is one part the of small it. scale things yeah yeah mm-hmm. i mean they have been they have also been putting their lives at risk like for uh, in oh. even in this covid situation and uh, mm-hmm. second part is like about second part is the affordability of healthcare like affordability of healthcare in the sense like the government hospitals are uh, kind of uh, overburdened and uh, privates have their own you know like kind of they are also treating but in the initial few days what we saw is like patients were not being able to get admitted because of their uh, maybe lack of 
resources or lack of uh, you know like this thing so the maybe if we can if as a society we put more emphasis and more appreciate the fact not only verbally verbally saying is very easier said than done but maybe we can set up something like in delhi what they have a kind of a mohalla clinic which they have done like there is mohalla clinic uh, which i have heard is like kind of a uh, where you can get treated for like the nominal fee of 1 rupee or 2 rupee for the essential even if you develop some kind of publication okay. maybe in the society and building there are some mohalla clinics about that i think if achha, achha. that we can maybe do all across the country then at least emergency first aid or emergency treatment can be uh, done for people i issue and um, for humble people yeah yeah people yeah for everybody modest income yeah humble yeah and the second part is like as you said that like small scale industry has to be given more emphasis as just also mentioned so if this can happen i think uh, maybe we can tide over the situation gradually and we need to appreciate our like sanitation workers we are saying saying that but saying that and actually doing that how many of us of after we get uh, out of the situation will ever bother to say thank you or uh, to these people <laughs> because generally they are the most neglected uh, kind of uh, set of which we hardly took care of before but now i think we can recognize them more i haven't thought of anything mm. like how i can help them out mm. uh, like recently what uh, you know i'm thinking of you know uh, my clothes certain things i i'll put uh, i mean one of my friend she she is connected to some uh, ngo or something so i'm just helping that way not mm. in that direct way yeah. to any uh, organization just or something so just a thought like i mean from the thought process maybe some things can germinate and what we can do from our bed or something maybe that's i mean as it is like as you said like uh, people find their solutions like even in crisis situations people find their own solutions so i think we have to uh, give it some time some solutions will be available some thought process will come there so these were my questions and anything else you would want to say from your end before we kind of wrap up for this uh, evening any other other it's insights? okay we, we, are, we are no no it's okay i mean we are just uh, you know like uh, you know, impatiently waiting for the the this <laughs> this disease to go uh-huh. and you know like this pandemic to go uh, get over and and come back to the normal life so enough you know like 4 5 months the half of the year is gone half of the year is gone <laughs> so so very you know very pathetic and full of bad news and deaths and shocking news so we are done you know enough of this so <laughs> hopefully i think the vaccine i mean even if the vaccine is released it will take some uh, time to come time to and all those things so, so till that's on experimental stage now experimental stage russia has i think already done some i saw the news uh-huh. but again when it comes to us and about depending on different physiologies and regions of it yeah yeah so oh but it was uh, really nice to have such a healthy discussion <laughs> i don't think front to front also we have that much time to talk to each other and we are all uh, running the way we are talking right now because somojit even you were busy in your own way we were also busy now <laughs> so no, I, I, but uh, a- it, it's really wonderful This is a series I intend to do. Although with, we have uh, this, sorry, yeah, please finish. No, but I always found you a very uh, interactive person from the beginning. <laughs> uh, Like something new to happen, you know, uh, find out something interesting out of the monotony, and you know, create something. That creativity I've always seen in you. Something <laughs> different, uniqueness is there. See, we are all singing, but you're singing live. <laughs> you don't bother you just you know uh, pick up the mic and start singing so that bindas thing is also a very big quality in a person and um, it's nice like talking to each other this platform i'm grateful and facebook is such a place where you know here we are getting heard mm. known and we are enjoying in our own way yeah, yeah i mean i so, i intend to good initiative it. thanks to you yeah i intend and thanks to you it's totally my uh, pleasure and honor to uh, have you here so i intend to do a kind of a series of interviews you know like uh, like from for cafe white pack is like right now i am the only guy there so i intend to build up with a it is kind of a community it's kind of a melting pot 
it's like where we people come across life people i mean we have just to uh, add more thought process about that different it's a melting pot it's a kind of a cultural adda bajit jayega ekta maybe you can so so like this is this you, is also kind of communication which you are doing yes <laughs> yes 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 so this is one part so dheere dheere karke so uh, then I, I, again some there are some doctors there are some uh, Uh, friends in my uh, in police or there are some uh, friends in uh, eng- engineers as so i would like to interview each of them and try to understand how they have seen this lockdown period is just a phase and how they would want to share some things about it there are like uh, there are uh, actors there are singers there are musicians so different people so it's like a kind of what like different uh, people in their across different uh, strata of society So I would like to gradually interview them. And not interview; it's not a kind of interview. It's like a kind of a conversation. It's like a more of a informal way of thing. So hopefully we can do. Good initiative, ma'am. Huh? <laughs> Very good initiative. So you yeah. all enjoyed. I'll I'll send us send across this recording to you. I would like put it on my yes, page, yes. page on this. So uh-huh. you, uh, please send across to your friends and see. I mean, if people like it, and uh, if there sure, are any sure, other, sure. other, yeah, please let me know if there are other people. who are very uh, you know like kind of uh, want to share something or they have some unique uh, skill sets or like you what you have developed over this 5 6 months which i can uh, maybe talk about talk to them also finally remain safe healthy uh, take good care. mental health good physical health and keep on singing keep on singing <laughs> yes <laughs> thank you dada thank you i look forward okay. to the night session bye thank yeah. you sister thank you bye sister thank bye. you bye bye, bye. 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 bye